Hey everybody, it's Mr. Howard. Um, I am really excited today to talk to you about student planners because um, student planners are awesome and it's a really great way to keep track of your stuff and what you're working on and I think that this is going to just be really great for everybody and I can't wait for you to start using this because it's going to make your life so much better. Um, okay, so student planners, we're going to be using some Google tools to uh, organize our assignments and what we need to be working on, um, like when things are due, what our assignments are, things like that. So we're going to use two tools. The first one is called Google Keep. You can get to Google Keep by typing in keep.google.com. Um, looks like this, okay? And then the other thing is going to be Google Calendar. You can get there by typing in calendar.google.com. And it looks like this. You probably have seen Google Calendar. Okay. I'm going to close out of these. I would recommend you pin these things. You see mine are pinned. Um, unpinned. If you pin these, they'll just kind of hang around on your desktop, which is cool. All right. <clears throat> so... Student planner. So we want to use this as a student planner. So uh, we're going to be in Google Keep. I would recommend that you create a new label for student. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. Um, and I'm going to create a new label. I would recommend that you make a new label called student planner. And so this is where this is a place where you can keep all your work. And if you want to make another folder and put like personal stuff in that or something, you can't. Um, but all of these things got to go in a folder, so we might as well just make a folder and make it clear what it is. You'll know that you're in it, you've done it. It ha you'll say student planner up here, and you want it to look like that. That's what we're looking for. Um, okay. <clears throat> all right. So let's go ahead and add an assignment. Um, I need to come up here to this field here. And so let's say I'm in Mr. Howard's uh, first hour ELA, ELA class, and he just gave me a really important assignment, and I need to write it down. Mr. Howard just told me, and I just click up here. Um, and I think a good convention way to do this would be to type the class name and then the teacher name. Um, and that'll be, be right at the top. And then under, then here where it says note, you'll actually type the task that the teacher is requiring. So ELA, Mr. Howard. Mr. Howard says um, your assignment is read chapters one and two in your book and complete the written response question. Okay. Um, so that's the task. Now I want to add a date. So Mr. Howard says that this assignment is going to be due tomorrow. So I'm going to pick the date and time and go back um, and go back over this. If I want to add a time, I want to click this little finger with the the string tied around the finger. This says remind me. Um, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to go down here to pick date and time. And this is due tomorrow. Today's the 16th, so I'm going to leave the 17th. But if you need to change the date, you just click down and you have your calendar. 17th. And I have this class in the morning, so I'm going to leave it at 8. It'll give you the choice of morning, afternoon, evening. Morning is 8, afternoon is 1, evening is 6, night is 8. You can go into settings and change these times if you want. Um, or you can set a custom time where you can type any time you want. I just find it to be easy to, if you have a morning class, pick morning. Afternoon, pick afternoon. So morning uh, is when this is going to be due. And I'm going to click Save. All right, so um, I'm going to have multiple classes, so it would be a good, also a good convention to kind of code your classes. So let's say all of my ELA class assignments I'm going to put in green, okay? So this is done. All right, there's my ELA assignment. All right, let's say um, I have a math in my math class. Um, I'm in Mr. Yates' math class. And Mr. Yates says, Mr. Howard, your assignment is complete the multiplication problem homework numbers 
one through 237. All right, and I have Mr. Yates' class in the afternoon. So I'm going to put afternoon, and then I'm going to click save to save the time. And then I'm going to make this class red, and I've coded it. Done. All right, so let's say, hey, um, my buddy wasn't at school today, and I want to share the assignment with him, or maybe you're doing a group project, and you want to share an assignment with everybody. Um, let's talk about sharing an assignment. So I'm going to go back to Mr. Howard's class. Whoops, ELA. And the assignment is book trailer complete by the end of next week. All right, I'm going to set a reminder. Um, next week would be the 26th. Go ahead and put that in the morning and save it. And I know that I do my ELA classes in green. But let's say, like, my buddy was gone. I don't want to share this with him. I can type in uh, my friend's email here. Um, so let's say um, my friend, Mr. Lorenzen, was gone. I can put his name in here and save it. And then that will send that to him. So I just sent him an email, and he just is going to get it and wonder what the heck this is all about. Um, okay, so, hey, now I know he's got the assignment. I'm going to go ahead and take him off of here. Um, but you could send that to anybody and teachers could also use this, make a keep post and share that to students as well. Uh, I'm going to click done here. All right. So let's talk about how these posts impact your calendar. So let's say you want to get like a view of all the stuff that you got coming up that you need to be working on and you need to get done. If you go to your back, your calendar, you'll see that this stuff is now on your calendar. So uh, my morning assignment, ELA, Mr. Harrod, read chapters one and two in your book and complete written response question. That's here. And so when I go home tonight, my mom can look at this and be like, oh, Mr. Howard, get in your room and complete all of that work that you have. So then I um, uh, make sure this is done before I show up to school tomorrow. Same with my math, which is right here. Um, so that's a, if you want to click on these, it kind of gives you um, a little more in depth here. But then let's say... Um, I got it done. I can go in here and I can mark it as done. Boom, got it. And so now that this is done, it comes up here to the top of the page. One reminder done. Way to go, Mr. Howard. You're awesome. And let's go back to this and say, okay, I also uh, completed my assignment for Mr. Yates and mark is done. Boom. That one goes up to the top as well. And I got two reminders done for that day. So that's really cool. And I'm really proud of myself for what I have achieved. Um, so yeah, that's the long and the short of it. There are other features that we can use with this, but I would say just uh, getting started, uh, this is probably the way that we wanna use it. And um, we can do some further work with Google Keep and Google Calendar as we go further into the school year. All right, uh, thanks for watching guys. And again, if you have any questions on this stuff, you can email me or give me a call. I am happy to help you. For now, this is Mr. Howard uh, signing out. Keep that burning for learning.